Go that way. I call to order the uh, special meeting of the Glendale Successor Agency for June 2nd, 2015. May we have the roll call, please? Agency members Devine? Here. Friedman? Here. Garpetian? Here. Sinanian? Here. Chair Najarian? Here. May we have your report? The agenda for the June 2nd, 2015 special public meeting of the Successor Agency was posted on Friday, May 29, 2015, on the bulletin board outside City Hall. You had earlier today closed session items. Uh, for which he recessed. Item number two is Director of Economic Development regarding landlord improvements at 216 South Brand Boulevard. 2A is resolution dispensing with competitive bidding and authorizing uh, to execute agreement with Corporate Contractors Incorporated. Mr. Ochoa. Yes, sir. As we wind down the activities of the former redevelopment agency, which you have before you is some holdover work at the Museum of Neon Art as part of the landlord, which uh, the GSA is. Uh, landlords work to ready the outside of the project. We had to stop and allow the interior improvements to move forward uh, and now we are coming back to you uh, for the items listed in your staff report, the HVAC work, some roofing related to HVAC and uh, some uh, wood framing and, and gypsum board, uh, uh, some of the wood framing work. Our project manager, uh, Hagop Kasabian, is here. The reason why we're going forward with the uh, dispense with competitive bid is uh, we have the contractor in place today already doing this work. Uh, the amount of money to pay for this work is included and paid as part of the uh, recurring obligations of the former redevelopment agency, now uh, successor agency. And so it isn't coming out of city funds per se, but rather the remnants of what was obliged of the uh, former RDA. If you have any specific questions about the project or the work, either Mr. Lanzafame or Mr. Kasabian can answer those for you. Any questions? So, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, so we know that if we were to bring another contractor in, it would cost more than $61,789. I know it's not our money, but still we should be responsible with it. Well, we looked at, uh, at an estimate. Um, we had uh, both our, uh, our, engine, our, our project manager as well as Muni Museum of Neon Art review that. We know that it would be more because we'd have to pay for the immobilization of their contractor while we went in to do work with somebody else and then remobilize them. Um, they were on site, and uh, we, according to an engineer's estimate, believe those were all accurate costs. Okay, you say immobilization. What do you mean by that? E I'm sorry? Immobilization. What do you mean by that? Get all your tools, get all of your materials, get so, all of your people, and vacate while we bring, could, while we uh, do a procurement process and bring somebody else in and have them mobilized to do the work. So whatever okay, premium so, a bid would bring us would be lost in the tear down and set up. And how much, do, how much does that cost? We, don't, we just know that there would be a cost that would cost more. We, and you don't want to have two contractors, two different contractors working on the same site. And so that was why we asked for this. Okay. Mr. Carpeccia? Well, uh, this extra work was not part of the scope of work from the beginning for, uh, what is the name of the? Bird. We O'Neill to? W. O'Neill. It, it was not. It was later discovered that the work needed to be done. It was landlord's work, and that's why W. E. O'Neill had completed their scope of work and had left the site. We'd turned the building over. Uh, we discovered that this was, in fact, some of it is related to structural. Uh, those were landlord responsibilities, and so we found ourselves with additional scope of work. And that's, we, that's surprising to me because uh, first thing you need to do is the roof, and if, if the roof was not part of it. I, 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 again, I, I don't understand how could they, they miss this in their original bid when, I, I, to be honest, I don't understand what this is telling me, this report is telling me. The extra work that is being done is a gypsum board to open frame areas, installation of furring, framing, and gypsum board. Is it? If, thank you. Good afternoon, Council Member Garbadian, Council Members, uh, City Staff. My name is Hagop Kasabi, and I'm the project manager. So, uh, basically, the roof was done on the building. The uh, items that we're talking about, or the items in question here, are mainly dealing with structural elements. Uh, the mechanical equipment that needs to come in basically needs to have screens to screen them from the street. And in order for those screens to go up, we had to come in and put in posts and have the posts structurally be sound, for the, uh, enable for them to, to take the screen and, and go through. Now, the areas that were go going in to put the posts in and tie them back to the, uh, to the roof joists 
had to expose certain of the uh, certain areas of the roof and then come back and um, basically repatch them and and get it done with and that area was more or less i would say anywhere from 350 to 400 square feet of the total roof area so it's not the entire roof area i understand that's why they do the screening they know where the units are going to go they do the screening in the beginning before they put the roof up so they would tie the, those those structural walls to the to the to the, to the roofing uh, structure if you will then Exactly, except, except the way it was written, any structural element wasn't part of the original scope of W.E. O'Neill. That was something that, that had to be taken care of afterwards. Bye. Okay, thank you. One more question, Mr. Mayor. Uh, so is CCI got its contract through a competitive bidding process? I don't know. That I, I, I don't know. Yeah, they were, they were the, they're the tenant's uh, contractor. So oh, the tenant's they, contractor. I, they could have did a competitive bid. They could have hired them. Full source, it's not, that's not within our control. Okay. But they're the ones on site then. Correct. Yeah, they're the ones on and site. That's the yeah, efficiency time, you know, of scale. That to the extent time is money, um, to the extent you got to go through another process again. Okay, so there's a motion at 2A. If anyone is satisfied with. Second. That. Motion was presented by. Somebody, you can make the motion. Oh. Oh, I thought uh, no, I, Councilman Zanani. I'll, I I'll move that item. Okay. Is there a second? Is there a problem? Uh, Let's no, talk no about problem. it. Second. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, they're on the site. They have to get the job done. So. Yeah, uh, it always costs you more because they're on the site. Uh, they cost you a little bit more because they know you don't want to deal with two different contractors. You know, if you, if you evict them and bring somebody else, but it, it's okay. I mean, I don't know what the, the cost of it is, but I trust the staff. I mean, I'm, they, they, they've done this many times before. They know that uh, and it's going to cost 20000 and they're charging me 61 Let's be clear. Um, this, whole, this whole deal with Mona doesn't add up if we if we use yes. the strict scrutiny of <laughs> dollars and cents. So this is just a very small I amount. This is the last change yeah, order just, that we're going to have on this. Don't point. ask me how much rent they're paying next month. Oh, ooh, sore subject. Because they're not paying any rent. We have a rent Zero. abatement, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, this is. Uh, I understand your concerns, but I'll second. The okay, motion. roll call, please. Uh, actually, agency members, divine. Yes, whoever. It doesn't matter. I think we did it simultaneously. Friedman. Okay. Agency member Friedman? Yes. Thank you. Carpetian? Yes. Sananian? Yes. Chair Najarian? Yes. Mr. Mayor? Yes. Can we keep the meeting open because we have to, uh, I have that motion that I got to prepare for closed session. the closed session. So we'll keep it open until the So evening. we will recess, uh, we will recess the successor agency until further notice this evening. And we have one more meeting which is the uh, joint meeting of the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Economic Development Corporation, June 2nd, 2015. May we have the roll call, please. Here. Council members Devine? Here. Friedman? Still here. Here. Garpetian? Here. Nanian? Here. Mayor Najarian? Here. Uh, please read the first item. I can also just uh, quickly read uh, the... Report, uh, please. Sorry. Well, no, the board... Roll call as well. Uh, board members Devine? Here. Friedman? Here. Garpetian? Here. Sinanian? Here. Chair Najarian? Here. I know that's redundant, but since it's two yes. separate bodies, you we are, must take two separate I stand roles. corrected. The agenda for the June 2nd, 2015 joint public meeting of the City Council and Economic Development Corporation was posted on Friday, May 29, 2015, on the bulletin board outside City Hall. Before you, as Director of Economic Development, regarding tech company cluster attractive uh, attraction initiative. 1A is an Economic Development Corporation motion authorizing to execute a professional services agreement with Metropolitan Research and Economics in amount up to $75,000. Mr. Ochoa. Yes, sir. As uh, the late, great Will Rogers once remarked, uh, 